Well, hello there, and welcome to 100 Hours in Minecraft Hardcore Edition. And it is so good to be back in this blocky world after taking a little bit of a break. And I woke up today thinking, you know what? I want to build a tree. And I've been meaning to start this series for a few days now. And what better way to start it but with the inspiration of a tree? Where this tree will come from and how it will be built, I have no idea. But we are in a hardcore world. And as you can see down at my hand there, you can see that we have 38 seconds so far in this world. And we are going to go to 100 hours. That's right. Me. Good times with Scar will last in this world for 100 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're laughing. You are, and I get it, and I understand it 100%. I uh, may be prone to deaths, but I'm going to be super careful, okay? You, me... Ooh, that looks very cold. I am very cold. I am not going to go in that direction. I'm going to go towards this direction. This looks very nice. Anyway, as I was saying, you, me, together, we're going to survive for 100 hours in this world. I love this little clock ticking away so we can... You know, key. Okay. Okay, this is the tutorial of the <laughs> 100 hours in Minecraft hardcore style, right? This could have been my death, but it was easy mode. There was some water there. It taught me to tutorial mode. <laughs> Let's not make that mistake again. Anyway, um, I am a super small Minecrafter. I play on Hermitcraft. There's a lot of great farms. People save my life all the time. But here, we're all alone. This might result in a UFO tree. I will fix it in the future. Buy them. We got some planks, and now pickaxe, axe, shovel, sword, and most importantly, a hoe. Because I want to make a... Oh, no. I was going to say, I've been dreaming of making a tree all day, and I forgot we need silk touch for our hoes. Oh, man. Sometimes I get so spoiled by Hermitcraft. We have reached the Stone Age. <gasps> oh. Wow, sometimes these always freak me out. I'm like, is there somebody else in this world with me? <laughs> I am not used to seeing these portals in Minecraft. Like I said, I play on worlds for years at a time. It is a rare day when I am in a new world. But anyway, look at this. We've got some cobblestone. Time for an upgrade. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, how do I, how do I jump? How, why am I not jumping? Why am I not jumping? Oh my god, we almost died. I'm just gonna run. Oh, there's berries. There's berries. There's berries. Okay, this is food source. This is a food source. This is a food source. Okay. Wait, no, food source. Don't kill me too. Food and skeletons. Everything is trying to kill me. Okay, deep breaths, everybody. Deep breaths, we've got this. I'm gonna try not to die by a berry bush. That would be very embarrassing in a hardcore world. I don't know if anyone has ever died by a berry bush in a hardcore world, but I don't plan to be the first. <laughs> We only have one life in this world, and then that is it. And I'd like to last a little longer than six minutes. I'd like to get a little closer to that hundred hours. Seven minutes in, and I've already polluted the world. <laughs> but we do have an upgrade. We've got stone tools and some mediocre berries, and I'm also on our spawn island because I was scared. You know what? A good source of nutrition at the start of any new world is salmon. As you can see, the sun is a setting, and a smart Minecrafter would get their salmon and head underground to avoid the first night and also get some resources. And we here are smart Minecrafters. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get some of that salmon and then let's get underground. <laughs> Without any chance, you forget how tough it is to actually swim through the world. Kind of feels like a drag suit. Brings me back to my old competitive swimming days. Oh, it has gotten a little darker than I anticipated getting some wood now that we have a large supply of it. Let's just uh, dig down because it is getting to be night and this is a hardcore world. Oh, oh, that's a surprise cave. Hello? Knock, knock, scary things? Anyone here? Ooh, copper. Okay, let's grab some coal first. Then we grab copper. Let there be light. And look at that. We now have some light in here looking super fancy. And well, let's finally grab some of our copper. I mean, seriously, I can't just walk by copper. You know, we are in the new update. So that means that the lighting engine has drastically changed and it'll be a little bit safer exploring the caves. If we can actually find a real cave, that is. Now we have some freshly cooked salmon and there is a spider haunting me in these walls. I think it's below me, but I'm not 100% sure. See, smart Minecraft didn't stand on the... Oh, copper, 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 copper. Cannot pass up a bit of copper. 
Let me grrr. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on now. You can't hurt a person's soul like that by denying them copper. You know I have a fixation with copper and I have a healthy diet of it. How am I going to get that? We're going to go on a copper rescue mission. I know this is hardcore and everything, but I've got a need for danger. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. I know that was dumb. I know that was dumb. <laughs> oh, this sword is a little worse than I thought. There we are. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, hey, spider. Great, great seeing you and everything. Would appreciate you not being here. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we're down. There's got to be some iron here. So, priority is to get iron so I can get a shield. Then we go for... I'm checking my, I'm checking my corners here right now. Then we go for iron armor. Finally, some delightful iron. Now we can make a shield. We can make some armor, some tools. And we also don't really need to spam the torches as we once did because of the new um, spawning algorithm with the, uh, the mobs. Well, hello there, beautiful. I almost left you. This makes me feel a whole lot better having our shield ready to... Oh dear. Well, hello there, Iron Man. No, not Iron Man. Enderman. <laughs> not Iron Man, Enderman. <laughs> that is such a weird mistake. Anyway, we've got our shield now. So I feel a little safer down in the cave so we can go get some iron tools, some iron armor, things along those lines. So copper smelting down. Let's hit the... Oh, now we got Spider-Man of all things. You know what? I am loving not only the cave terrain, but the amount of iron and copper down here. What on earth? Now we've got the incredible Hulk coming in on us. What is it about all the mobs resembling superheroes today? Uh, but correction, I have not found a lot of iron. I have found a ton of copper. There is a lot of uh, Hulks down here. There must be some gamma rays pulsing through these caves here. Wait a second. You have got you have got to be kidding me now we're being attacked by batman we're having a crossover event here inside the caves <laughs> there's a dc marvel crossover happening here oh wow oh my gosh wow i have never seen a lush cave in person this is beautiful wow i have only seen it you know pictures videos but never through my blocky eyes Wow, this is fan. Ooh, hardcore parkour. I can't give up a little hardcore parkour. Look at this. Look at the skill. Look at the precision. <laughs> this is fantastic. This breathes so much life into the caves. And there's a dripstone cave attached to it. Oh, wow. This is, this is super, super cool. There is an abundance of copper, which is making me making me quite happy i'll be honest with you there seriously i can't find any iron copper <gasps> oh all day long hey buddy let's all be friends you me we're all friends what can i give you can i give you something so you'll pet let me pass how about some calcium you're a skeleton after all <laughs> i just want iron my dude <laughs> calcium for iron all right <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just swipe you down. Bam! There we go. All right. Back on the hunt. Man, I am getting a little bit too deep, I think, into this cave, but I just got a need for exploration to explore a little deeper and to find, well, deep slate we have found. And I was really hoping right here was just going to be a beautiful, shiny diamond. Okay. Okay, Hawkeye. Hawkeye, let's be friends now. Come on now. <laughs> Easy does it, my dude. <laughs> this is so bad. I didn't know my hunger was down, let alone that I only have four hearts. I only have four hearts in hardcore. I'm gonna run for it. I'm gonna run for it. Okay, 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 we're good. We're good. Hawkeye's slow. He's been beat up a lot lately. Oh, nope, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Come on, man. He's determined. He is determined. I made fun of his knees and he did not take kindly to that. No, not at all. But the water, they can't go through water. Yes, they can. I don't know where I, why I thought that or where I learned that, but they can. Okay, I'm going to hide in here. I'm going to... No! No, 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 no. I need more blocks. <laughs> oh, man. I really want to build that tree. Dude, that arrow went right through me. We have officially two fish now. <laughs> But I am uh, well proteined up and uh, I'm, I'm feeling brave. Are you are you feeling brave with me? Here we go. Wow, you're just chilling back there. Oh, caught you. Caught you taking a little break, didn't I? 
didn't I? That's what happens when you slack on the job right there, kids. Set a furnace up back there, and here is a geo that I am super excited to open up because we can make ourselves a spyglass. I'm hyped to make our spyglass. I kind of forgot the recipe. Is it the blocks or the crystals? I think there's some copper involved. We'll have to remember later. Well, 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 we have a little bit of cobblestone here, which means there is a dungeon behind that wall. That is a lot of hot guys back there. Oh my gosh. We should be so much more careful. I mean, this is a hardcore world, kind of have a challenge to survive 100 hours in Minecraft. You know, we got the timer down there after all. We've been in this for 37 minutes and I haven't died yet. Huh. I'm going to take that as a positive, and I think at least 10 to 15 percent of you thought I would have died by now. But no, but no. <laughs> so, Hawkeye, I am going to excuse you there. And I'm going to go find my smelter. All right. Who's Iron Man now? Look at me. We've got a full set of iron armor and we've got some tools, a little bit more copper smelted down. We got some gold, we got some iron. And as you can see, we have literally no food. So I am going to try to hightail it out of here. If Cubs Canyon taught me anything, these things could hurt us. Probably should be a little careful around them. We have got some glow berries ahead. That is a good sign. I don't know how much nutrition these give us. The bats give us no nutrition. Don't ask me how I know this. Anyway, let's make some room in our inventory and let's have some beautiful, sweet glow berries. <laughs> hey. That's not bad. That is not bad for the nutrition. That will keep us in the caves a little bit longer. Oh, oh gosh, those things scared me. I thought that was a frog. Those aren't in the game yet. By the way, did I tell you? I've got a surprise for you in this series, but I'm not gonna tell you quite yet. I have been watching these skeletons fight each other, so I don't have to. We can just break this block and clean up the final and, oh. I was so excited. I thought we were going to get decent loot. Are you kidding me? There's no enchant books. Nothing good. I'm a scared mountain goat and I've been chased up here by a skeleton. <laughs> I look like a sad mountain goat up here. But as I said, I got a bit discombobulated because I thought I saw diamonds below and then I got chased away by a skeleton. So let's light this place up a little bit. Also down below, the mobs keep trying to kill themselves, which is to my benefit, of course. Now we just need to safely get down here and see if what I saw was actually real. We got the shield, so we're doing well. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, okay, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There's diamonds somewhere. Ooh, there it is, but there's more. Oh, there's more skeletons. Okay, okay. Calm, calm, everybody. Calm, calm. Shields are up. We're protected. As long as the creeper doesn't fall on our head. And then let's just wait our chance to pounce. Are you ready? Let's do it. Yes, critical hits. And one more critical hit. Nice, just like the cool kids do with their PVP. Grab ourselves our diamond as a prize. And we are out of here. Yes, we got our diamond too. This is amazing. Okay, okay, now where's the exit? There it is, beautiful. Oh, we did it. Okay, finally. We have our health regaining, and truly, these glow berries are the light of my life right now. I'm still shocked that we came out of there alive and well with some supplies, ready to start our series. Now, the question is, where was the hole that we fell through to get to this cave? Ah, oh, there it is. Sweet. So I've got to ask you, what would be my superhero name and powers with all this superhero talk. So in the comments, think about it and then type it in. Let me know what my superhero name would be and my powers. It wouldn't be Mr. Directions because I am quite lost. Fresh air, oh my gosh, it, it feels so good to be out of there. Wow, okay, all right, we've got ourselves all set up now with some gear. It is time to settle in. Now, I didn't want to go towards the iceberg. I thought this gorge looks gorgeous. And here we can forge ourselves a beautiful start to our hardcore series. Wow, look at that incredible view over our gorge here. And this inspires me. I know we're gonna be working on our tree, but I want something that spans the distance of the gorge. Maybe our base is suspended from it. But yeah, this area is absolutely fantastically beautiful. It is becoming night, I agree, sheep. 
I should probably hide myself before the mobs start spawning because this could get real dangerous up here. I think I may have slept in a little bit there, but let's pop ourselves out and take in the beauty of this incredible landscape that has really inspired me, as I said, to create something that spans the gap between the two cliffs. But we do need to think about what we're going to do for our survival base to start out this hardcore world. And remember, we don't have a lot of time here. We're already an hour and a half into this. We've got to get building. So what I want to do is create a tree. As I mentioned before, I really want to create a tree that kind of like hugs the side of the cliff and then stretches over it with a house hanging off of it. So the tree is like struggling with the weight of the house. I think that vision just sounds fantastic as it arches over the gorge here. Somehow we need to get the resources to do this. And that is not going to be easy. We're not building anything until we get some proper food because we are constantly in a state of starving. Well, hello there. <laughs> Can you see my little beady eye there? Could you imagine walking by a bush and just seeing that eye? That would honestly be quite terrifying. As you can tell, I've kind of lost my mind being alone in a world for so long. <laughs> But anyway, I've been exploring, taking in all the beautiful 1.18 terrain, all well, grabbing up some food here. As you can see, we've got ourselves some raw beef, some mutton, and of course some salmon, and a whole lot of seeds for our crop. Hopefully double that yield on the way home. Do you trust me that I will be safe? Because I'm about to leap off this cliff! <laughs> I know, it's hardcore. I should be a little more careful. But you gotta live a little dangerous to have a bit of fun in life. Oh, no! Yes, that's a cat. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, we need to go get some raw cod. We need to get a fishing pole. We've got string and then we can. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost died from cat excitement. <laughs> Has anybody ever died in a hardcore series from cat excitement? Because I almost just did. That should be good. Ah, there you are. I've got fish. Whoa, whoa. Come back here. Come back here. I've got fish. There we go. Best friends. What? What on earth are you looking at? That is mildly creepy, but I do appreciate you. I'm glad you're my friend now. The great grind for leaves and logs starts now. I really wish we had that hoe. Aw, look at our little cat wishing us a happy return to our storage area. We are now at the four minute and 42 minute mark of our hardcore 100 hours in Minecraft, but we've got a lot to show for our time. Look at all those oak leaves and oak logs. We've got some scaffolding material, some bits and bobs like some iron and gold, but best of all, we've got ourselves a silk touch book for our super hoe so we can get as many leaves as we so choose. Now the spyglass recipe actually is super simple. <laughs> I, I didn't realize it was so simple. It's such a cool thing for such a simple recipe, but I am absolutely loving it. What I'm not loving is the fact that I, uh, I, I can't, I can't find my diamond. You remember our diamond that we worked so very hard for? I think we may have left it in the caves. Our inventory I think was full. And in haste, when we were trying to get out of there with our lives, we didn't pick it up. And I, I feel like an enormous noob right now. A pro in this same moment would have still had that diamond and they would be vibing out to that disc right there because any pro would use their first diamond to make a music disc or a jukebox that is, and they'd be vibing out. Instead, I'm, well, anti-vibing. To counter those bad vibes, it's time to start working on our tree. Now I will be building this over certain death. So I'm going to build a swimming pool under us. So if we fall, we land right into a delightful swimming pool of safety. Now that is the scar safe way of doing things. Time flies when you're having fun building in Minecraft. We just hit the six hour mark, as you could see, and that marks the completion of the structure of our brand new tree base. So of course the house is gonna be hanging off of this section right there, hence the kind of the curving nature of the tree. And just look at this thing. It's gonna be amazing when we get the branches up there, we get the leaves, it is gonna look really, really cool. I think some hanging lanterns on here will look even better. I'd like to get some, oh, there's still little, there's still little pieces there that still need some work, um, but I would like to get some half slabs and some stairs just to give it a little extra color and shape. But uh, yeah, I am quite happy with this. This took a little longer than I thought, but uh, enjoyed my time putting it together. Vibed out with a little David Bowie. If Minecraft refuses to let me vibe out by 
despawning my one and only diamond. <laughs> but anyway, we got some more work to do. Let's uh, get the leaves on and then start working out how in the world we're going to hang a house off of this. I am super pumped to show you the start of our base, the hanging tree over the gorge, looking ever so beautiful with the leaves and the branches and just the general shape of it. I am absolutely in love with. And of course, the infinity pool down below here, which saved my life at least three times. That's right. Three times I have been saved by that pool. That might have been the biggest brain move I've ever done in my life by building that. Otherwise, seven hours and 13 minutes would never have been accomplished in our 100 hours in hardcore Minecraft. Anyway, I am I'm loving this. So next stage here is to get rid of this disgusting modern art sculpture of scaffolding. <laughs> I might keep the pool a little bit longer and figure out how we're going to suspend our house. Do we do it from the center? Do we do it from the tip of the tree? Well, hello there. Um, we need to decide where that's going to go. And then we'll need a pathway into the tree and then down a ladder to our house. Scaffolding's down and that is looking wonderful. Now I've faced a bit of a challenge here. How do we make the chain that hangs down from the tree to where our house will be? I'm trying to figure out how I could like attach ladders to the um, grindstones and well that didn't work. And if I attach this to the grindstone, obviously you can't then put a ladder on there. So yeah, probably should have thought of that first. We aren't even through the first episode and we are already oxidizing copper for our little platform down below. So I have spent a long time refining the tree. <laughs> like it took like an hour and a half or something just to build the basic structure of it. And I may have added no more than maybe 20 leaves and I spent way too long refining everything. But it is now time to start working on our little house. So what I want to do is run a little chain down from here and then make a little platform. Oh, 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 this is where it ends. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 God. oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my infinity edge swimming pool almost killed me. Okay, as I was saying, I want to build a platform <laughs> that has a bed and our chest hanging from it and then a ladder going up into the main tree okay i'm gonna start working on that and slowly let my heart stop racing i think this is about low enough here and we have a beautiful view down the gorge here so what i want to do is make like a bed here with a little roof copper that is roof and then have the suspension cable going up into the tree there and then maybe in this section here we have our chests or maybe like a spot where we could walk the plank <laughs> and cable is now attached so what we're going to do i think right here or the mm, yeah right here because there's not gonna be enough room with our bed we're going to run a ladder up the side of the chain now that's not going to look as good as just one solitary chain holding this up but I don't know other way to get up and down. We did it. The tree is now complete. Look at how amazing that is. We've got a little covered over our bed. We've got some tools. We've got some chests. We have the pirate walking the plank there. We've got some, uh, you know, the little lights hanging off the trees looking super beautiful. Now the way into our, uh, our new humble abode is not the easiest. We got to do a lot of hopping, a lot of hopping in here. But uh, once we round the corner here, we walk down the staircase and then on to the platform with our giant chain. So we got some chests, got some different smelters on the back, got your standard smelter. We have the bed, additional chests, free no valuables and things along those lines. And uh, yeah, this was super, super fun to build. And I really want to jump off this. <sighs> Ooh, okay, we made it. We made it. Hey, why is why 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 are you floating away? Come back here. <laughs> I love our base hanging from the gorge, and that gives me so much inspiration for all the things that were hang and attached to these cliffs here. And in the comments, give me some more ideas for the gorge. I'd love to hear them. So hashtag base designs, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you would like to see here. So I haven't told you everything about this series yet there is some surprises some wonderful surprises and i'm going to introduce you 
to them. Say hello to our neighbors. That is right, we are not alone in 100 hours in hardcore, and I've got a housewarming present for our good friends, Grian and Joel. Looks like they're having a little bit of a standoff down below. <laughs> Let's go give them their presents. First gift delivered. Wait, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. I didn't want to kill him. I just wanted to give him a hard time. <laughs> oh, that's I'm so glad I looked back. I am so glad I looked back. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I know Big Beans is around here somewhere. And second gift delivered. After dropping off my housewarming presents, I realized that we may be a little bit behind as we spent our 10 hours here building a giant tree. And I mean, quite literally watching copper oxidize. I should have just put the copper up there and let it oxidize on its own, but no, I just wanted to stand there and watch it oxidize. <laughs> so in our next episode, we need to do a little bit more Minecrafty infrastructure, get a little bit more infrastructure built up, maybe get some diamond armor. I mean, they're way ahead of me, but we do have a pretty cool little tree and we have a little... I knew before I did that 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 was going to be a mistake. We got to stop doing that. We got to stop jumping off cliffs. Anyway, I had an absolute blast here in 100 hours in hardcore Minecraft. And I hope you did too. And we'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life.